Hey you guys, I'm just going to walk you through uh, what I've been doing here to replace my fan in this DV6 laptop. So here's the old fan. Uh, I got it out. I'm going to show you how I did it. I was having an issue with my camera, so I figured I would just start over. I got a little bit, little bit better lighting here. Okay, so basically what you got to do is you need to start by taking your battery out. And then there's four screws here. One, two, three, four. Pop those out. Then you want to go around the outside edge and get all of these screws out. Okay. Uh, that's going to allow you to, to take the, the keyboard out. And we're going to get, get the board out uh, in a bit here. Then on the inside, we have uh, a few of these holes. You're going to pop this... You're going to pop this... Uh, cover off this inside cover here see how there's a hole and the way that you do that you just need a little flat thing you can get under I use like a guitar pick uh, or, or a real thin screwdriver just pop it out then what you got to do is you need to get the RAM out which I have sitting here and the way that you do that is you just push these out uh, each way and the RAM will tilt up on an angle and you can slide it out sometimes this uh, I think this is the optical drive SATA connection here. This this uh, wire can hold down that bottom ram ram stick, so you want to make sure that uh, that that's out of the way and, and that your ram actually tilts up before you start pulling it out. Don't try to force it. Um, so the next thing that you need to do is take out your hard drive. So you have some screws here to be able to pull out your hard drive and you're going to disconnect the SATA connection which is going to be right here Let's see if we can see that it's going to be right here this one actually goes to like I said the uh, the optical drive which I'm pretty sure that's what that is um, it, don't mind that well you can disconnect that too just disconnect those two right there and the way that you do that is you kind of pull up on this little tab here this black tab and you just be real careful with it. Make sure you, you don't rip anything. And you also have a little connection here that you can pop out. Uh, what does that go to? That goes... Well, I think maybe that's some power. You've got some power there. Okay, so once you get that out, hard drive and your RAM, and you get these disconnected. Uh, let's see, so you got one, two... Yeah, those are going to be necessary to be able to pull your board out from the other side. Uh, what you have to do is uh, take all your screws, don't lose your screws, of course, and you're going to flip it over. And what you got to do is you got to get your keyboard out. Now, uh, I already have mine out here, but I'm going to show you how to take yours out. So let me set the camera down a second. The way that you do it is you start by pressing underneath on the actual keyboard. So right here there's no keyboard but underneath when you when you are looking at it from the back side you can actually press upwards on the back to, to pop it out. But make sure you don't go on the bottom. When I actually pulled this out, this is the first time I actually took this thing apart. You'll see these little tabs on the bottom so they stick out. Notice there's one missing right there. I cracked it because I was pushing on the bottom corner. What you need to do is pry up on the top first, pop the top out. And once you get the top going it'll just pop up and then you can just slide it out the top okay and but don't go too far because you got a ribbon under here okay and the way that you take that ribbon off is you need to pop the black piece up okay that's gonna hold it in place and then you can just slide your, the ribbon right out and your keyboard will come off to the side okay so once you got that done what else do you have to do oh I didn't show you you actually have to slide out your optical drive. I actually, mine is actually a second hard drive. So I use that and all you have is that one little screw on the back. You'll see it's right next to the other hard drive. You pop that out and your, your whole optical drive slides out uh, or you're already familiar with it and you've done what I've done and put a different hard, a, a second hard drive in there. I didn't need a, an optical drive. I figure I can always plug one in. I have an external one if I need it. Okay. So what's next here? Oh right, so now you have to so you pry up the plastic around the edge. It's it's not here yet. It's uh where where is it here? I have it somewhere. Oh, down here. 
this is what you'll be looking at. Sorry about that. So you can pry up on the edges and you're going to notice it's going to get stuck in the middle. Well, that's because underneath the keyboard you have screw holes, okay? So as you're prying up on this plastic piece, uh, be careful and don't force anything in this middle section. You can get it ready by prying up on the top here, getting the top up and loose. But you need to pry out the keyboard from the top, like I was saying, and, and it'll tip forward this way. And then what you can do is pop it out, pop out the ribbon the way I showed you, just by lifting up that little black piece. Zoom in on there. And then you can pull your ribbon out, and then what you can do is you can unscrew these holes. Uh, I think there's seven screws. And this will just come right up. Uh, go slowly because you're actually going to have, let me show you here, you're going to have three ribbons, no, four yeah, three ribbons to disconnect. You're going to have upper left here. This looks like the, oh, what is that? Oh, that's your power button. Need to get you focused. Sorry about this. Okay, so this needs to be disconnected. So the same way as you disconnect the ribbon here, you're going to do it on all three of these. So this one and down here, this is to your fingerprint reader. Pop that out, and then here's your touchpad. That's going to come out too. Now, you might as well, if you're in here and it's easy to get, you can pop this up, but this can wait until you actually lift this up and get this out of the way. <clears throat> now you can actually pull up your display. This is your display connection here. And then you also, while you're doing it, be real careful because you have a real little, uh, I can't really get in zoomed in on that. That's as close as I can get. There's a little connector there that you have to pop out with your fingernail. Be careful when you're pulling this up. Don't just rip it sideways. Uh, and that should be it, I think. For ribbons, no. We still have to pull out our fan cable right here. And then over to the right, we have our power cable underneath. And then we have our USB uh, card here that, that plugs into the top. So again, you just pop that little white thing up pull on the blue tab and it'll slide right out okay so now uh, I got this back in place I don't need to show you the other side of this um, basically what happens is when you flip it over you're gonna see you're gonna see this uh, fan here and here this is the end underside of it so the, the board sits right on top of this this is what we're looking at here this is the new fan I have already put in. This was the old one. And this actually is where the CPU sits. So there's four screws that press onto the CPU. All you have to do is take this off and get some rubbing alcohol and clean off the CPU, the old thermal paste that's on the CPU on the other side of this board here, uh, underneath here. And uh, I like to use alcohol pads just because they're a little bit nicer to wipe down. They do, it is usually a little bit wet, and since I'm not using cotton, it's, you know, you have to, I think I use a microfiber just to touch it so that it dries and there's no water spots. Um, but once you do that, you're good to go. So you want to screw them down uh, kitty corner so that it, the thermal paste kind of spreads out evenly on top of the CPU. And uh, they gave me this with the fan. I decided to, to, to wipe down the thermal paste on the new fan. I actually wiped off the fan and, uh, and put the new stuff on there. So it's your call. Some people don't want to use the stuff that comes on it, and I decided to go that way. All right, so once you got it screwed down, make sure it's screwed down tight. Don't over-tighten it, but you want it snug because you want it to... Uh, to conduct and transfer that heat out of this fan. Okay, so once you got that screwed down, flip it back over. You're gonna plug the fan wire in. You're gonna you're gonna route this uh, display wire back through the. Uh, how does this pop out? Looks like it popped out of my track here when I put it in. This wire is your display connector, and it's supposed to sit nicely in this little track here on the top of the fan and mine just keeps popping out looks like there was a piece of tape used I should probably get that a little snugger uh, more snug snugger I don't think that's a word anyways when you're putting this in don't forget this little connection here 
pop that in and then you're going to pop in your display connection here okay then come over to the right and pop in the power underneath it there's a power connector there just comes out of here and then also your usb card and you're going to put actually before you put these in you need to get this slipped in place you want to start from the right and slide it in place and line these up here click that in there then put these in and now where i'm at at the moment is we're gonna we're gonna screw it down okay so this screw here was actually a really small one that's the real short black screw and then uh, up here you have the two fan screws to put in now i actually recommend putting those in before you slide your board in because it's kind of a in you know inset in there and you can drop your screw i actually had to flip the whole thing over to, to get the screw out that i had dropped in there so yeah if you can put those in first that'll save you a little bit of hassle all right so the rest of these are actually the screw holes for that the keyboard uh, so the keyboard base goes on there and then the screws go through into those holes. So we're, we're good with that. All right, so let's get the base here. Uh, and so now what we're going to do is we're going to install this, this base and we're going to pop these ribbons back in place. So we got one, two, one, two three ribbons. And then we're going to put our keyboard in, right in on top of this after we screw it down. So I'm going to do that, and then I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I got that done. So a couple observations. Uh, the first is to make sure that your connector ports uh, are flipped up before you set this down so that you don't have to do that. So they're ready to go right when you set them down. You just pop, pop the ribbons in, and you can just press it down. Um, and the other is just to know that these connectors don't go in very far so you don't have to struggle with them just know that just you know as you put them in that you probably found the hole you found, probably found the slot and just you know lock it down and make sure that it's snug and, and just use the blue tabs to to maneuver them all right so then once uh once you get your seven screws in uh just be aware of the ribbon up here by your fan you don't want to pinch it um, try to make sure that it's kind of pressed down into the slot. You can see mine's actually up a little bit, but it's not that bad. I, I know that once I screw this together, it's going to pull in. Okay, I could probably got that in that slot a little bit better. It's a thick cable. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to pop our keyboard in. And uh, I'm going to need to set my camera down to get this slot in. Oh, maybe I'll do it one-handed. One-handed. Nah. Okay, so we'll get this black lock up. And actually this doesn't really push in. You just lay it down and then and then cover it with the with the connector. You don't even have to slide it in anywhere. And then your keyboard just make sure it goes in the bottom first and then it'll just pop in. So you can start pressing in. On the edges and it'll click right in and of course mine won't click in the bottom right because I decided to break that one off oh glad I got that one so all right so all I did was put the keyboard ribbon in put the put the keyboard in bottom first and then tipped it down in and started pressing on the edges and it'll click right in there for you okay now we get to finish this off. We're going to flip it over and try to remember where the rest of the screws go. Okay, I have a visitor here and he's reaching for my tools. What you got there? Screwdriver? All right, you have fun with that. Just don't swallow the bit. Mama would be upset if she saw me letting you have that. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, hey, why don't you go play with the ball? Where's the ball? It's actually some hair product that looks like a ball. Hand me the screwdriver. Thank you. <coughs> yeah, no, we're going to push those out of the way for now. Okay, so what we have here, uh, we screwed down... Uh, what did we put in here? Uh, the outer edges and we also 
pop this back in. If you can avoid it, you don't need to take this out. There's two little screws there, a pain to get back in. The wireless card, I don't think you even need to pop that out. Uh, put your plug back in, make sure your SATA cables pop back in. And now, uh, all you have to do is put the RAM back in the same way, on an angle, and then click it down in, both of them. And screw down your hard drive. Oh right, there is one more screw here that I forgot, down in the corner here. That one. Okay, and then uh, your optical drive screw right here. Uh, and for me, it's actually going to be a uh, second hard drive. I actually just got a new hard drive to put in because this one was required more, uh, a little bit more voltage. That's actually an older hard drive in there. Oh, and I should mention in case you didn't pay attention like I didn't uh, to the different screws, this is actually the... It's a silver one. It's a shorter silver screw that goes there. And then this one here, where is it? Oh, right there, is uh, a shorter black screw. Most of these are long. The outer ones are long, but this is actually a shorter black screw. You got your, your board right there. Okay, so put your RAM in. Remember, it comes in on an angle, and then you press them down, and they click in. Same thing on the bottom. Also, uh, when you set your drive in, just make sure that you feed the wire through properly and then just get it positioned right and press it down. It'll click, click right in. It's got the four screws on the top. Also, well, what else? I think that's it. I don't know if there was a screw in here. I might have pulled that screw out when I was disassembling it. I don't know where else. I have, a, I have an extra screw. So I'm thinking maybe it was there. I don't know what attaches to that. I don't know if that holds anything down. I can't can't find it. Now I have this um, instead of instead of the optical drive, I actually have this extra hard drive. It, this this is actually from an older one. I took actually took the drive out, put it in my PC, and now uh, I'm I'm needing to put a new drive in because this is this is the original, which is not USB powered. This is. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's from this laptop. I can't remember, but all I know is it's not working and I think it's uh, because it, it requires a little bit more voltage. So I got this new drive here. Uh, it's a terabyte drive. I'm going to pop into this and slide it in upside down and then there's the little uh, screw hole here for it. Once that's done, I'm just going to put the cover on, put the battery in and uh, it's good to go. So uh, I hope this helps somebody. Let me know in the comments if it does.